Hey, what is going on guys, gals, aliens, and DGEN freaks? Welcome back to Dano Crypto. So today I'm going to bring you a very quick update on Bitcoin. And I want to show you guys a couple of charts to get you a little bit more bullish. I do not want you guys to be getting bearish right now because if the fact of the matter is, is that Bitcoin, whether you like it or not, has a programming mechanism built into the system that you cannot deny and you cannot uh, waste any time on not researching what it is. And I'm going to tell you what it is, and it is the Bitcoin halving. It is the supply shock. It is the supply crunch that is going to inevitably happen with Bitcoin and the network. It's going to be a full crunch network effect that is going to happen after the election. And it's perfectly timed with metrics of worldly events and also with the fact that after a year, traditionally, after a Bitcoin halving, which is four year cycle, it takes a year for Bitcoin to hit those peak prices. Now, we're going to go through a couple charts. We're going to show you exactly why we think this is going to happen and where we're sitting at currently right now. So, guys, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell to be notified when I make these cryptocurrency videos because you do not want to miss these updates. So, this is the Bitstamp chart on the daily. And you can see here that Bitcoin from this uh, from this bull flag wedge here that we had a breakout at 51,000. And this was also the level that we were expecting the Bitcoin price to go to. And if it was going to break down any more from there, then that would have been the lower uh, portions where we start to get down into these levels from this previous ascending triangle breakout here. So you see we hit all-time high territory one, two, three, four times on this 71,000, 72,000 line, which is the top of the Bollinger Bands when you look at the daily chart. Now, why is this important? Now, traditionally, with my analysis of the markets and some charts, whenever you hit four times on a price uh, resistance level, and move up into that area, it's usually about the fifth time after that. And it's not a third time's a charm, fourth time's a charm. It's usually about that, that, that fifth time you start to go up, then we start to see what is going to happen with the chart on Bitcoin. Now, we did have a complete market crash where... This was going to be, I really believe so, the push over that, that price. Now, why did we not make it? Well, the market was correlated with all of the turmoil and sell-off that was in the Japanese markets, Taiwan market, the, the, the stock market in America, basically stock markets ar around the world took a massive plunge. So this brought fear into the cryptocurrency markets. The uh, institutions, uh, they, uh, they were selling off as well. But if you look at this wick right here, this wick was such a pivotal wick to witness because it bounced and hit exactly off the trend line that we've had drawn on this chart for a long time. So this showed strength and especially of it being completely oversold on the RSI. And if you look at where the RSI potential could be hitting and going into and breaking into past 71,000 and going into 76,000 at the top of the Bollinger Band right here is the fact that the RSI is still trudging and trudging up into this level of being in between 76 and 91, which if you look at the RSI from previous oversold portions, which was right here, we had a massive run of over 83% uh, up to its all-time high. Now, can we have this similar move? So if we go from the bottom of where this RSI is and we go up 73%, or eight, almost 80%, you can kind of see where the trajectory could be going for Bitcoin here in the short term. Now, 
a 40% move can happen with Bitcoin. You can see here from this portion here, a nice 40% move did indeed happen, and it only took about 19 days for that to happen. So that is actually correlating pretty nice when you look into Bitcoin uh, uh, quarterly returns and monthly returns on the chart. Now, this is another chart I want you guys to focus on. This one is really interesting where you where it goes uh, through cycle bottoms and then has a 94 bar split looking on the weekly chart of where we've had the runs of the previous all-time highs and where uh, the halving cycles line up. So you can look at this, you can say, okay, you know, history doesn't really repeat, but it does kind of rhyme a little bit. And at least this is showing a upward trajectory trend of what the Bitcoin price has been doing. So now if you start to look in and you go and start to look at these metrics here. Let's bring this. Want to start to look at these boxes here. And look at this green box, and you see the green box being at a top portion of 378000 per Bitcoin. But if you just look right here, it's very interesting that the first time ever in Bitcoin's history, we hit an all-time high before a halving. This, to me, and I think for all of you, it should really ring in your head that that was the sign that Bitcoin has so much strength and so much uh, sentiment in uh, financial markets and institutions, big money, that they themselves cannot deny the fact that Bitcoin is the money that is going to protect us from the debasing of currency and hyperinflation. So with that being said, we can see Bitcoin going this year to $150,000 per coin because of those metrics alone and also the fact that exchanges are expected to run out of Bitcoin nine months after the halving. Bybit has done this report. Binance knows this. Coinbase knows this. Uh, <laughs> the U.S. government knows this. I think China knows this. I think the big money and the powers that be know this, and this is why there is a battle of buying Bitcoin and acquiring Bitcoin and also uh, just being on the race to make sure that the energy that Bitcoin gives to a country is actually being preserved inside the country. So, and this was apparent when Trump spoke at the Bitcoin conference in Nashville, when Senator Loomis uh, presented uh, legislation that is going to have the, the U.S. Uh, Treasury and the U.S. Uh, government buy Bitcoin on a daily basis. This is also a proposal by JF, uh, uh, John F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, to do that as well. And... So this is so bullish, guys. You have to understand how bullish this is and why this is so important and why you should start to study Bitcoin more if you're not getting the concept of the supply shock and what that means. Because Bitcoin can just start to absolutely run. I know this market has been very volatile. It's been sideways. It's 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 sometimes has been very fake out, but... At this point, you cannot deny the fact that this thing is primed to explode. It's primed to explode. So we're in the trade, guys. We are in the trade. We see that if you look on the daily chart, we have a really, really nice bull flag forming here. And if you look on the short-term price action, then you can expect Bitcoin to be hitting this level here pretty soon in the short term, which is that $64,000 level to bring us back up into strength and then eventually break out into all-time highs of $77,000 at the top of the band. And I hope you guys are ready for the ride. But thank you so much for tuning in to this fully full Bitcoin update for all you Bitcoin maxis out there. And I hope I've orange pilled you. Uh, uh, yesterday, I actually managed 
to Orange Pill, my mom and her husband, and they bought $500 worth of Bitcoin. We got, they got through the frustration. I'm going to say, guys, if you've ever tried to sit down with, with boomers or, or your parents and try and teach them about crypto and make a transaction or a payment or go through the, the processes that you probably are going to run into some walls. You're going to get frustrated. They might get frustrated. They're going to ask you questions. You're going to keep trying to like get them to understand. They might quit. They might actually say, I don't want to do this. I'll just do it another day. And what you have to say is, no, I'm not leaving the room until you finish this and buy some Bitcoin. And so that's what I did. And so we broke through the frustration, and by the end of it, they were so bullish, they got more excited, and even though they were about to quit and not do it, they eventually understood and got through that frustration because guess what, guys? It's a program running in your brain to be stuck in the system. There's always going to be some unconscious pushback that you don't even that you don't even realize is happening because you're so ingrained in the system that even when someone is trying to cal like calmly teach you that you're in the damn matrix and you need to get out that you're going to fight back. So this is what is so key is you got to have patience and you have to go through the education and you have to teach people. Because this is the only way. And this is why I have this crypto channel. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And if you have, please, again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ding the bell to be notified so you can get these updates. And remember, I go live Monday through Friday, 1130 Eastern Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is where you're going to get all of the news of the cryptocurrency markets that is that is breaking and also about meme coins, altcoins. And it's just a fun, interactive stream that you guys can tune into every single day if you'd like to. And so I will see you on those streams and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, guys.